बिस्मिल्लाम रबिश राहली सदरी व यसली अमरी वाहलुलगतम मिलसानी यफका हु कौली असलम टूडे वी विल डू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ चैप्टर टू मोशन इन वन डायमेंशन फ्रॉम द बुक फिजिक्स फॉर साइंटिस्ट एंड इंजीनियर्स विद मॉडर्न फिजिक्स बाय सेवे एंड जो टेंथ एडिशन द इंट्रोडक्टरी स्टोरी लाइन इन्वॉल्व अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट रोड लाइक दिस वन वेर द पावर पोल्स आर इक्वली स्पेस स्टोरी लाइन यू आर अ पैसेंजर इन अ कार बींग ड्रिवन बाई अ फ्रेंड डाउन अ स्ट्रेट रोड यू नोटिस दैट द टेलीफोन पोल्स स्ट्रीट लाइट पोल्स और इलेक्ट्रिक पावर पोल्स ऑन द साइड ऑफ द रोड आर लोकेटेड एट इक्वल डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम ईच अदर You pull out your smartphone and use it as a stopwatch to measure the time interval required for you to pass between adjacent pair of poles. When your friend tells you that the car is moving at a fixed speed, you notice that all of these time intervals are the same. Now the driver begins to slow down for a traffic light. You again measure the time interval and find that each one is longer than the one before. After the car pulls away from the traffic light and speeds up, the time interval between the poles becomes shorter. Does this behavior make sense? If the car is moving at constant speed, the time interval between the poles would remain the same. If the car is slowing down, the time interval between the poles would increase. If the car is speeding up, the time interval between the poles would decrease. When the car is moving at a constant speed you use the time interval between the poles and the driving speed reported by your friend to calculate the distance between the poles you excitedly tell your friend to pull over so you can pace out the distance between the pole how accurate was your calculation connections we begin our study of physics with the topic of kinematics in this broad topic we generally investigate motion the motion of objects without regard for interaction with the environment that influence the motion motion is what many of the early scientists study Early astronomers in Greece, China, the Middle East and Central America observed the motion of objects in the night sky. Galileo Galilei studied the motion of objects rolling down inclined planes. Isaac Newton pondered the nature of falling objects. From everyday experience, we recognize that motion of an object represents a continuous change in the object's position. In this chapter we will analyze the motion of an object along a straight line like the car in the story line we will use measurement of length and time as described in chapter 1 to quantify the motion an object moving vertically subject to gravity is an important application of one dimensional motion and will also be studied in this chapter remember our discussion of making models for physical situations in section 1.2 in our study we used the simplification model mentioned in the section and called the particle model and described the moving object as a particle regardless of its size in general a particle is a point like object that is an object that has mass but is of infinitesimal size In section 1.2 we discussed the fact that the motion of the earth around the sun can be treated as if earth were a particle. We will return to this model for the earth when we study planetary orbits in chapter 13. As an example on much smaller scale it is possible to explain the pressure exerted by a gas on the walls of the container by treating the gas molecules as particles without regard for the internal structure of the molecules we will see this analysis in chapter 20 
For now, let us apply the particle model to a wide variety of moving objects in this chapter. An understanding of motion will be essential throughout the rest of the book. The motion of the planets in chapter 13 on gravity, the motion of electrons in an electric circuit in chapter 26, the motion of light waves in chapter 34 on optics, the motion of quantum particles tunneling through the barrier in chapter 40. May Allah bless us all. Thank you for watching. Allah Hafiz.